Welcome to Dapol TV, where you get to see our EPs, deco and production samples first. In today's short video, we're going to be taking a look at the first shots of the Stroudley four-wheel coaches in O-Gage. Hi there, my name's Neil Morell, I'm the marketing manager here at Dapple Model Railways and your Dapple TV host. If you've visited our channel before, welcome back. If it's your first time, a really big welcome to you and I'd like to encourage you to hit the like and the subscribe button so you find out when our next video is due out. The first shots that we're going to be looking at here today are of the gaslit variety. However, the first batch that we make in our factory will be of the oil lit type. The reason we've done this this way around is the gas lit are the most complicated of the models and it gives the design team the largest scope for reviewing the tooling but it gives us a slightly easier model to start off with in our factory here in Chirk. That's right we will be making these in the UK. We are making four different coach bodies. There is an all third brake, an all third an all first and a composite coach. The all third also allows us to make an all second. The coach body type was identical and the only real difference in life would have been the comfort level you would have got from the seating inside the coach. The coaches that we are making will be available without any lighting should you desire that. But we'll also be making DCC ready lighting, which will run on an analog layout, or full DCC controllable lighting. The tooling that we're making is capable of producing all the different varieties of buffers and couplings and such like. The earliest brakes of these coaches produced only had buffers on the outermost end of the brake thirds. And as you progress through the history of the coach, then more buffers are added. Where appropriate, the coaches will have either a long, a short drawbar or a three link coupling. But we can talk more about this while I do the voiceover for the uh, 360 view that I took earlier on in the studio. Speaking of which, let's cut to that right now. Dapple will be offering the oil lit varnished mahogany liveried coaches in this first run. Later we shall be offering different liveries and details including gas and electric lighting and Westinghouse brakes. As a minimum a modeler will require one or third brake to operate a train of these coaches. On the suburban range of these coaches the interconnection between coaches will be provided by a prototypical drawbar. Only the outermost end of the brake will be fitted with a standard coupling to connect the coaches to the locomotive. Mainline versions of the coach will be fitted with standard three link couplings and short buffers at both ends of each coach. All third brake coaches will have the prototypical longer buffers at the brake end of the coach. The first three mainline coaches which will be offered in this run will have the Westinghouse brakes fitted. The models will have a compensated die-cast chassis for excellent riding characteristics. They'll have a superbly detailed body with many separately added parts. They'll have, where relevant, metal sprung buffers, expertly applied liveries and decorations. Light bar fitted options will be available in both DC and DCC. Two lengths of close coupling bar will be offered with these coaches. A short coupling bar to be used with buffer free coaches and those at Billington converted. A long coupling bar will be offered for converted mainline coaches with buffers on both ends. All close coupled coaches will be able to negotiate 
R2 curves. A trilogy of these coaches, including two third brakes and a composite, have been offered to club members. You should all start receiving the order forms for these in the latest club magazine. If there's anybody out there that would like to join our club, I will leave a link below in the description for this video. Also include links to the relevant catalogue page and section of the digest where you'll be able to find a selection of larger sized photographs. We've been able to look at three of the four different body types here today. However, Richard has retained the all first for his own reference. He has, however, kindly sent over a quick snap for us to see here. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this short video, or at the very least found it useful. If you have, please hit the like and the subscribe button so you find out when our next video is due out. In the meantime, take care, stay well, see you soon.